how good is a black spur drive here in the Yarra Ranges? <laughs> Sensational. Yeah guys, g'day in this week's vlog. I'll be shooting an ancient rainforest, beautiful mountain ash, myrtle beech trees, and possibly the best walk in Australia. So come along and let's see what kind of images I can grab. The rainforest walk that I'm about to embark on is located in Tulangi, and the walk itself is on the Willowera track. Man, this place is another level. The track entrance is just there, the base of my tripod, and already I'm setting up for my first image. Um, I got these tree ferns, and then these mountain ash in the background, and uh, some wattle trees and the scene just jumped out at me. Got this beautiful low atmospheric cloud. And I'm hoping to shoot uh, a few more mountain ash outside of this uh, rainforest here. Um, remember a few weeks ago, I did a vlog on shooting giants. I'll put a link up here somewhere, <laughs> up wherever it goes. And um, yeah, I just found it really difficult to shoot, but I did see some really nice mature uh, mountain ash just outside the car park here. So. If I get time, I'm going to stop and shoot them, chuck them up for you. But for now, I think this could be a very magical place. So here's my first image. This, I have to say, I'm, I'm speechless. And this is for the record. This is the single greatest rainforest I think I've ever been in. Um, it's like another world in here. And um, those fern trees back in there are just sensational. It's also uh, family friendly. Uh, I don't normally like coming to these, um, you know, well-maintained sort of areas because they, they normally don't produce or they're overshot but you could get lost in here and I don't mean um, lost within the, the trip in the forest itself but just lost in yourself lost in images I've probably taken seven eight images already and everywhere I look I just want to keep shooting and a uh, couple of trees in here that I really love it's the Myrtle Beach um, an ancient tree from Gondwana land in fact this is a Gondwana rainforest. It's what a Gondwana would have looked like 60 million odd years ago. Massive continent, super continent. Even the middle of Australia would have looked like this. Um, it's just unreal. So I'm gonna try and capture the essence of this place really, and try and convey it in my images. Um, got my 24 to 120 mil lens, which is absolutely perfect in here. And I'm really excited to shoot Myrtle Beach. Uh, also related to the Antarctic beech tree, which I used to shoot in Queensland. 
uh, yeah, very old, old tree, and uh, a lot of them about just in here. Um, yeah, <laughs> speechless. I, I, the senses are just overwhelmed. I don't know what to do or what to shoot, but I'm going to slow down and uh, find some compositions and, uh, yeah, just um, like a pig in mud, really. Uh, speechless, yeah. So I'm going to walk along this track here. And uh, it's not too far, this one. There's a 10K walk uh, the other side of this track, which wouldn't be as well maintained as this. I mean, if you're a hiker, you really enjoy this. There's only 1K through the rainforest. Low cloudy day. What more could you ask for? So uh, enough talking. Let me get along here. And uh, I don't know if I'll talk through my images. I might talk through a couple of compositions, but I'll just set up, show the images. Let them speak for themselves. Let's do this. Great example just over my shoulder here of Myrtle Beach. Um, yeah, just it's got a lot of moss hanging down. Got a bit of backlight too from diffused fog. Um, so I think I'm gonna grab this image. I love the uh, the giant uh, tree ferns in the bottom here, and they're just everywhere. Massive, ten foot high tree ferns um, over this side, and then behind that, towering mountain ash trees. And I promised you last time I shot mountain ash that I'd do a video on them and uh, shoot them. I might incorporate them in this video, uh, just outside of this uh, little walk of huge mountain ash trees. So I might get an image of that. And um, yeah, as I'm driving out, I'll, I'll chuck it up if I do manage to get an image. But oh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's amazing. See, I might grab this image and there's a replica of this sort of scene just behind me. Well, it's everywhere, but yeah. I don't know. Might bombard you with images. I might just pick one or two, but I'm definitely gonna get this one. So I got caught up in the uh whole ambience of this place and really forgot to vlog or talk about you know what I was shooting but uh, I'm just going to throw up some of my favorite images from this walk the great thing about this walk is you're on a, a platform you can look down and across the rainforest um, are well worth it if you're ever in the area um, it's such a spectacular place Yeah, so this is the actual road into the walk I was just doing, and um, I decided to pull over and do a bit of vlogging, uh, just walking along the, road, the dirt track here. You can see the, the mass size of these trees, and even the uh, fern tree in the distance there. Yeah, it's a good 10 feet high. But yeah, just taking it all in the awe of this special place, the trees, and the um, mist really made for a great atmosphere. Feel insignificant in here. These towering mountain ash is uh, something to behold with your own eyes. They're one of the largest. I'm not sure if they are the largest. I know they're in the top three largest or tallest trees in the world. And I have mentioned it a few times. They're the tallest flowering. So they actually flower uh, these little um, beautiful little white flowers. 
uh, way up in the tops of the canopy. So I got my work cut out for me. Something falling from the trees. Got to watch that. What is that? I'm not sure. I think it was a twig or a branch. But yeah, I'm going to grab some images from him here. And um, yeah, try to anyway. I don't know if I can really justify the the scale of these trees, but I'm going to give it a go. What a way to end the video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment. Have a great week, guys. See you on the next one.